As Katie, we, we try and also understand the culture and the traditions of the Greek church. And perhaps uh, we're in September right now, uh, the 24th of September, we'll be celebrating the culture of South Africa and the culture and the traditions that are observed. In terms of understanding the Greek culture to its entirety, as we observe this really special uh, funeral service, what is it that needs to be understood? What are the big differences that will stand out and, and almost draw people back to say, oh, I didn't know this happened mm. in a church like this? So, so I think it's very important that you rightly say, Paul, Heritage Month that we see this month and marking our heritage. George Bezos was the embodiment of a man who, who was able to show his deep respects and, and, and have his roots both in South Africa and in Greece for that matter, which um, I think was very important at some point. Um, in his life, he was asked, you know, if, if South Africa was playing Greece in a <laughs> soccer match or a rugby match, yeah. which country would you be rooting yeah. uh, for? And he very wittily turned around and said, in that instance, I'd want a tie, <laughs> uh, which, I thought, which I thought was absolutely lovely. But yes, there are differences. What you'll see here is we're seeing now his coffin. It is, it is tradition as part of, of the Greek Orthodox religion to have an icon on the coffin together with uh, a candle, a photograph of the deceased. Um, that's what we're seeing in this particular moment here. Very much a combination of the state versus the religious um, and, and combining and combining this. After we're done with the church service, they will be going to the Hellenic Cultural Center, which is in the same precinct, if you like, mm -hmm. as the church. So it'll take a mere five minutes to, to walk there, if that. And that's where we will see the official part of the funeral come into play. And, of course, we've got the likes of um, uh, His Excellency, the President, Mr. Sul Ramaphosa. Mm -hmm. We've got, um, uh, as you said, Naledi Pando as our MC or... Uh, you know, the MC of the event, his children, his grandchildren, former Deputy Chief Justice Dikhan Mosaneke will also be paying tribute. And that will all happen at the Cultural Centre and that will begin at around 11 o'clock this morning. As we go back to, um, you know, you speak about the, the three elements that uh, come to, to the funeral, the government's role, the South African National Defence Force and his family. As we try and learn more about um, his family and his wife who passed on, I think it was about three years ago, what do we know about their relationship? Well, we do know that they were exceptionally close. He absolutely adored his wife. Areti Bezos was her name. She passed, as you say, in 2017. Also, her burial took place in uh, the cathedral, St. Constantine and Helen, the Greek Orthodox Cathedral. He spoke very, very fondly of her, very lovingly. Damon Bezos, when speaking of his father in the immediate aftermath of his death, actually spoke about how his father adored his mother. Mm -hmm. So, again, the embodiment of, of a family man. Mm -hmm. So, in understanding um, the processes that unfold with uh, this category of, of a funeral, how then does the South African National Defence Force uh, fit into the, the three facets of this funeral? So, that will certainly come in, Paul, um, as they leave the church and as we go to the cultural centre. Then we see the SANDF take over, essentially. We're likely to also see the coffin being draped in the South African flag, which will be an extremely and profoundly significant moment for the family, mm -hmm. to have the coffin in the flag, uh, draped in the flag at least. The flag will then be handed over to the family um, for them to hold on to. But that's certainly where the SANDF will come in. Mm -hmm. As, as someone who interacted quite a lot um, with the family, Katie, you, you were also aware of perhaps what their feelings were when it came to sharing their father with, with the nation and having to, to give him off, so to speak, to, to be adored and, and, and have people learn from him. How, how did they feel about knowing that this is, this is the community's father? Yes, very much so. The community's father, grandfather, uncle, lawyer, human rights activist. This is who we're saying goodbye to today. Um, I can't for one moment presume to speak on behalf of the family, um, Mpo, but one can only imagine their great, great sense of pride in, in the man who embodied so much, actually, and who represented their family beautifully, mm -hmm. um, knowing that, that he made many sacrifices for his family and for the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.